Hello. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. It's been a little while again since uh, I made my last video. Um, and I was saying, if you remember, that uh, I hadn't been so well. Uh, I had that bug that was going around the old man flu. Gosh, it's been terrible. It's been through the whole family. And uh, it likes to come around and then disappear and then cuss you back around the head again. So it's been a nightmare. Anyway. Cheers, my friends. A lovely ale in my favourite glass. And uh, thoroughly enjoying it. No prizes for guessing what it is. It's um, the one that's the house ale, obviously the DKM. So, what's been happening? Well, hectic times. Hectic times. Uh, Work-wise, the local county decided to uh, tell me that they were going to consult on cl closing both of my tiny little rural schools. Whoop. Sorry about the camera shake there. So that's on going on at the moment. So we're having some fun and games there. We shall see. We're down but we're not out, that's for sure. Anyway, on to happier things. Tomorrow, it's... My birthday. 54 I am. Good heavens. I know you're saying you don't look a day over 26. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So, anyway, 54. And uh, because I have a number of very important meetings tomorrow, um, I'm not going to get home till quite late at night. So, uh, I leave about 6.30 in the morning. And it'll be about 9.30 at night by the time I get home tomorrow night. So I don't really want to celebrate my birthday then. So uh, luckily, some early birthday presents have arrived. And this one here has come from my daughter, Leslie Jane, who lives in London. And she sent that up to me. She always tries to get me something... Uh, beer related for my birthday and I tried just tried very hard with a book although she tells me that this this year she can't uh, she thinks this will be the last time she can get to um, buy any books beer related she says I think you've got them all dad <laughs> thanks very much sweetheart anyway really appreciate it that was lovely and a lovely card too uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is something that I bought myself. Um, it arrived just recently, and it's it's really it's an early birthday present uh, for myself. So as you can see, that was um, the magnetic stir plate, which has come so that I can start cultivating my own yeast and. Uh, building it up. Um, I've been after one for ages. I've had the Erlmeyer flask for a long time now and the stir bars etc and I was going to have someone to build me a, um, a stir plate from one of the kits because I'm absolutely useless at DIY and unfortunately it never happened due to people's illnesses and things like that. So I thought, well, let's have a look on the old uh, eBay. Well, there wasn't anything. Like, well, there were some things on eBay, but the prices were ridiculous. And then I thought, well, just out of chance, let's have a look on Amazon. I looked on Amazon, and that's where I saw this stir plate. Yeah, it wasn't too bad a price. It wasn't cheap, but it certainly wasn't as expensive as I've seen them. So, and it was only going to work out about ten, twelve pound more than it would have been if I sent off for the DIY kit and got all the bits together and built it myself. So, the jobs are good. So, hopefully, in the next video or one of the next videos, I'll have it up and running. I've tested it out to make sure it works, 
Um, you may notice, and I'll put the picture back up just in a moment, that the it's, it's a two pin plug, it doesn't come with a three pin plug, but as long as you've got the, uh, the adapter it works fine on 240 volts um, over here and with a variable speed it means that you can uh, take it up as fast or as slow as you need to keep your uh, yeast in good condition and stirring well whilst the yeast cells grow. What else has been happening? Well, uh, at the moment I normally film these elsewhere, um, but tonight there's lots of things going on in the house and it's a bit noisy, so I've come into the conservatory to film. Hence the reason I've got the camera sitting on my knee, which I'm sorry for the camera shake um, this week. But other things. Um, I was very privileged to receive um, a video made by Ant Rogerson uh, of the German Brewery uh, showing me how to use my um, bottle filler which I got to fill from the keg which is very kind of him to take that time I know he's a very busy guy so uh, I covered that private video he sent me and um, I will make sure that I consult it before I bottle from my kegs and that of course means that I need to send him some bottles that I bottle from my kegs as well which I, which I will do and I promise as soon as I get round to doing it and this weekend as I've said it's my birthday tomorrow being the Thursday the 10th of March same day as Prince Edward I believe he shares it although he's a couple of years younger than me although I do have more hair um, so this weekend um, I'm going to head down to York and going to visit the bar there uh, with lots and lots of craft ale and bottles etc. Very famous in York called the House of the Trembling Madness. Now I've never been there but I've heard some great things about it and that they've got a great selection of beers in there. Some of you may remember from a video I did in the past where I went down to the York Brewery itself and did the brewery tour and I did do um, a little video of that in my back catalogue. This place I believe isn't too far away from the York Brewery and um, it does have some of their ales on as well. So yes, the House of the Trembling Madness which is obviously a referral to Delirium Tremens Ooh, foot slip, sorry. Uh, not the beer, of course, but the actual um, shakes that you get, the DTs when you've had too much ale. So hopefully I won't have those uh, on Saturday night. I'm going down um, Saturday early on during the day uh, because I'd like to be back for the rugby at the weekend on, on, on Saturday afternoon and watch the rugby. Um, so we're looking forward to that. So all I can say really is uh, thanks for listening. Keep home brewing. I've enjoyed watching all the videos that you guys have put up recently. I had a super time um, chilling out, especially when I was, wasn't feeling so well. It was nice to sit back and watch them stream them onto the big TV. So I felt proper pampered. And I look forward to watching your updates next week as well. So please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thumb up the video. And as I always say, I really appreciate your comments. I do try to answer them all. And we'll see you next week. Take care.